Shorty wanna be a thug, make money, murder, sell drugs. He'll do anything for the come up, sell his soul for the come up. Cause daddy was gone, he left you alone. And mama was there, but she lacked the knowledge to raise a man. Can't understand, cause she would've told you that you was a king, the son of a king. Let's open the Bible and show you some things that you wouldn't believe, except it was written. That we wouldn't listen, we're sold to our enemy And still we don't listen Look at our condition, look how we living uh, We under the curses, we stay rolling in hearses They hate you on purpose The devil is busy and you know he work in them churches Come out the church, uh, it's nothing but lies in the church It's nothing but death in the church And shorty grew up in that church AKA the crack Shorty house. wanna be a thug yeah. Now shorty wanna be the plug yeah. If he only knew who he was When he see me he would show sure love But instead he put a bullet in my head Seven times stabbed me in my back He be serving 25 to life If he knew yeah, how a shine was black If he knew he was an Israelite If he knew the real Jews are black If he knew his enemies are white If he knew America's gon' burn yeah, she got hell to pay Can't wait till she melts away And all I can say is bye-bye Yeah, and I don't wanna see her no more I don't wanna be here no more I just wanna even the score Death to America I can't wait to bury her Why you niggas scared of her? She is a murderer These niggas is foolish, be cooning for burglars I'm not your enemy Dog, I'm your brethren I'll show you your enemy like the president, but that shit is evident. Slave plantation, mass incarceration, no reparations, just heavy medication. And a middle finger to our whole damn nation. Forget it, I'm over it, we need to separate. Ay. Messiah is coming, you don't wanna wait too late. Ay. Shorty, I know what you go through. Same thing I go through. Bible is so true. I'm trying to show you, yeah You're worth more than gold Far more than a dog Gotta let you know you were chosen Chosen to lead, yeah Chosen to be free, yeah Chosen to keep the commandments, yeah Chosen to be holy All of the promises, both of the covenants All of the glory belongs to us Forget reparations, repent as a nation And all of the nations belong to us Precept, precept, I'm precept down. I can't wait to see the day this bitch burns down, 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 down. Revelation 18:4. The house is burning. Get the fuck out. You had your warning. Prophets are out. They teach the truth on the street. Yeah. Like they don't got money to give it. I was old, man. I had a couple white girls on yeah. the side. Free style of shit in the back. Yeah. You ain't trying to hear nobody about no God, man. Nah. God got to break it. That's how I know why show. I didn't make it. Because if I would have made it, I would have made it. Ah, I still heard about God. I wouldn't have needed nothing. God had to put us in a situation where we need Him. You understand? So we have to accept that. It's not about what we want, it's about what God wants, because God knows what we want. Uh, we gotta accept it's not easy. Uh, you understand me? Because we just met in the flesh. We don't understand these things. All right, read it again. Read it again. Uh, I'm trying to talk. But I am poor and needy. But I am what? But I am poor and needy. We all poor and needy. See, some niggas, man, they poor on the outside, but they spiritually poor and needy. You know what I'm saying? We physically poor and needy, but we rich in spirit. Right. You understand? Right. And we ain't rich. But we rich in spirit. Right. We understand that the promise is for us, huh? I'm going to show you something in a minute. Read that. Keep going. Yet the Lord think it's upon me. Yet the Lord thought upon the Lord chose us to come out here and teach this word. That's right. right. It's the best thing you can be doing in these last days. Right. You got a lot of people with a lot of money that's rich that have no idea World War III about to stop. Right. They have no idea that all that money in their bank is about to vanish. Right. They have no idea of famine is coming. There will be no food to eat. And the only way that you're going to eat is by the Lord and his angels. Right. right. You understand? These are the secrets and the mystery that the world has no idea about. Come on. Thou art my help. Thou art my help. And my deliverer. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Who? The most high. Right. We just showed you earlier the Lord did it to you. He has to be the same one to get you out of it. But he's not going to get you out of it because he's trying to 
show you something. That's right. You got to see what God is showing you first. Give me Sarah chapter 2. Read that. Keep going on that. Look at the song. Hold on. Keep going on that. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no terror. Oh my God. So look. Read that. Book of Psalms, chapter 69 and verse 29. But I am poor and sorrow. But what? But I am poor and sorrow. But I am what? But I am poor and sorrow. But I am poor and sorrow. But that's you. I ain't need no, hey man, look, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. I gotta eat, man. I am poor and I am sorrow. Read. Let thy salvation, O God, set me upon high. That's where your mind should be. See, your brothers get low and get down, man. Hey, we want salvation, man. Right. We want to be saved, man. Right. We don't want to do wickedness. We don't want to depend on doing this and doing that. Uh, right. We want to be convicted in our spirit so that we can stop. That's what the Holy Spirit is. A conviction. You understand? This is what builds your faith. When you put in a situation, there's no way out. And when you make it out of it, you know that it was only God that did it, so you give him the praise and the glory. Uh -huh. If a man come and put $10,000 in your pocket, put you in a hotel, and book you a, 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 a studio session, you drop a mixtape and an EP, and then you get signed and picked up by Epic Records, who you gonna get a praise to? That man that you met on the streets. I'm saying you are, though. I can't, but you can't say that, though. I never did that. I'm just saying, but, I'm, but you don't understand. Oh, you, you're not speaking. I'm saying you're going to give that man praise. You don't thank that man. But I'm know where it comes from. No, no, no. So why don't you know where it comes from when it's not happening? No, I know. I know that he's going out. So listen, I don't know. Like me, when I was in that situation, I didn't have no faith yet. It's okay to admit that. I admit it, I didn't have faith yet. So I thought I had to do this. Because I didn't have faith in God. You understand? God is not going to put you and tempt you to do evil. You understand? So when I was homeless, guess what? I didn't have to go do something else just because I was homeless. You understand? I had to go and get a job. I was trying to. Go ahead. No. Yeah, yeah, get that. 69 to 29. 69 to 29. Come on, the book of Psalms, chapter 69 and verse 29. They say, But I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O God, set me up on high. Uh -huh. I will praise the name of, the, of God. Now, this man is poor. This man is sorrowful. This man is on, is, is on his ass right now. What is, and this is a righteous God. This is God is telling you something. What are you gonna do? Praise the name of God with a song. Do what? With praise the, the name, name of God, God with, with a song. song. You make music, right? Read again. Praise the name of God with a song. Read. And will magnify Him with thanksgiving. And will what? And, and will magnify Him with, with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Can you do that when you down and out and on your ass? Can you still thank God? Can you still keep the commandments? Can you still do the right thing? I can still thank him. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. You said, why not? It ain't easy. It's, 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 it's never going to be easy. But are you willing to? Yeah, I try. I try. Right, all right. That's all. That's all he has. I'm not saying it's going to happen just like that. But you got it in your mind that this is what I got to do. So you start making steps and you start, your mind is changed now. You understand? I'm doing what I got to do, but I know eventually I got to stop this. So I got to start looking for another way. No, I got you, bro. I got you. But why did? Why do you think you ended up that was the way? That's the devil. That's the devil. That's the devil. There's, there's other ways, but why is that the way for you? That's the devil. That's safe. You understand? Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. So when you hope, when you, when your hope is supposed to be in the most high. Like the brother said, that's Satan, that's all it is. But the fast, anything that's fast, bro, it's not a, sometimes it's not a God. Sometimes the Lord says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So stuff that makes you move fast, sometimes it's something that's Satan. But you can take a step though. You might, you're not gonna, today, just start keeping all the commandments. That's why we only, it's a mini command. We only gave you a couple. We gave you commandments that you can start working on now. You can take that lighter and throw. You can stop. And you may 
slip up and do it again, but, you, but it's already in your speed. You know what? I'm going to repent and I'm going to stop until you get to the point where you overcome. You'll learn about fasting and prayer. You understand? You'll start coming around us. We out here every Friday. All right? We also at Lake Eola Park by the lake. Every um, Saturday at 5 p.m. You start coming out there and kind of getting with your brother. Come being around us. Brothers help you out. Lift you up. Be there for you. You start building a report. Brothers prove it. You prove us. You understand? How you think all these brothers got to go? You understand? You don't got to be by yourself. You understand? Book of Ecclesiastes? Yeah. Book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Yeah, you yeah, you can't right now if you're by yourself. You understand? The Lord said two is better than one. You're not going to think you just take all this we give you and go out there by yourself and never. Guess what? It's not going to work out. Because you're not strong right now. That's right. You need, you need a brotherhood and brothers to help you and lift you up. I can't, brother. You can't do it by yourself. I can't do it by myself. I need these brothers to call me and check on me. You know what I'm saying? I need these brothers to rebuke me when I'm going off. This brother see me smoking weed, he gonna, he gonna get on my ass. Right. You don't got nobody to do that. You just out here by yourself. But if I see you with a damn cigarette or something, I'm gonna get on your ass. I'm gonna say, hey, brother, we'll right. five hours on church. That's what love is. You understand? Love is not a hug and a kiss and a pat on the back. Right? Go ahead. Two are better than one, go ahead. For if they fall, uh -huh. the one will lift up his fellow. Because you by yourself, if you fall, you ain't got nobody there for you to pick you up. You understand? And if this brother fall, he can call us. Uh -huh. If this brother go to jail, he can make a phone call. Uh -huh. You understand? If this brother fall off and he get overtaken in a fall or a sin, he can call me and confess his fault, and we're going to sit on the phone and we're going to talk about it. We're going to go to the truth. Uh -huh. You understand? And I'm going to pray that the Lord forgive him. And he's going to repent that the Lord will forgive him. You understand? That's what love is. That's helping each other. Picking him up as opposed to him smoking that blunt and then nobody check him. Next thing you know, it's been two weeks now, he just fucking oh, already been smoking. I'm already home. Nobody care about me. That'll save this all in your mind. That'll work you up to Go ahead. But woe to him that is alone. What the Lord say? But woe to him that is alone. Woe to that man that ain't got nobody. That ain't got no brothers. Woe to that man. That's, this is wisdom. This is advice and counsel. Go ahead. When he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. When you fall, you ain't got nobody to help you. You ain't got nobody you can call. Right. You understand? That's it on that. Bring this up. Book of Siret, chapter 2, verse 1. Get out. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, do you want to serve God? We read about all these things did to our people because of our sins. Right? And we read about the Lord sending his son, and his son died on the cross and rose again, and we have the opportunity to repent and change our ways and show our faith in him by keeping his laws and commandments. You understand? That's our way out. You know? So if you come to save the Lord, look what God said you got to do. Prepare thy soul for temptation. Do what? Prepare thy soul for temptation. You have to prepare ourselves to be tempted. Right. Read. Set thy heart aright. Uh huh. And constantly endure. Now just endure it one time. And constantly endure. Now just endure it two times. And constantly endure. When you right. come to serve the Lord, you gotta always be enduring. Meaning you always gonna be catching hell and going. Right. Right. You understand? Read. And make not haste. And do what? And, and make, make not haste. haste. Make not haste. Then what? In time of trouble. In time of trouble. Right now you may be in a time of trouble. You wanna hear me? If it was up to you, you'll hear me. Get out of it. You can have your apartment, have your new car, and everything be cool for you. If it was up to you, God said, man, I hate because he might not want to get you out of the bag. Because he probably be trying to teach me a lesson. I may need to sit in this damn fire because I don't learn. Every time the Lord get me out of a situation, I turn my back on him again. Every time the Lord saved me out of a predicament, I turn my back on the Lord again. I say I love God, but then I do contraries. You understand? I only call on God when I need him. I only That's call right. on God when I'm down. Right. You understand? So God said, don't make haste in your time of trouble. You gotta learn, okay, how to love affliction. David said, it is good that I have been afflicted. Okay. You understand? Because you're worthy, you deserve it. Brother, when I was homely, I deserved to be home. You understand? I was wicked, I said, see, see, we think, man is private. We think, we're entitled, we think God owes us something. Read that real quick.
Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 71. Read up. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. And this man, is this the king of Israel. The Lord said his heart was perfect with the most high God. Yet David has humbled, humbled himself before God and said, it's good that I have been afflicted. Brother, it's good that you're going through what you're going through. It's good that you're not where you want to be. Because where you want to be, guess what? Guess what, brother? Where you want to be could get you killed. Where you want to be could destroy your heart. You understand? Listen. That I might learn thy statutes. That what? That, that I, I might, might learn thy, thy statutes. You're going to learn the laws and commandments of God in your affliction. That's you right. can't learn it when everything's going good. Ain't right. nobody teaching nigga nothing that got everything that's successful. Right. Right. You understand? Because you got to learn the truth from the Lord. You only going to hear this word from niggas on the corner. You ain't going to learn it in the church. Right. You ain't going to learn it in the white man's school system. So David said, it's good that I have been afflicted that I might learn thy statutes. Okay. You understand? So the Lord got to break you down. Like a, like a child. You understand? Because why? That's why the Lord said you must enter the kingdom as a child. You understand? Be a, the, the Paul said what? As newborn babes, because you got to be born again, desire to sense your milk for the word. You understand? Please. Plead, plead unto him uh -huh. and depart not away. Read up again so we read it together. Sirach 2 and verse 2. Listen to this, brother. Set thy heart all right. The heart is talking about your mind. You got to right. get your mind right. Your thought process is not right. right. But I understand it because I've been there. But I have to change my mind and the way I think. You got to do the same thing. It's not easy. It's easier said than done. So when we're talking to you and we're teaching you this, we're not teaching it like it's easy. We tell you how it is. It's hard, brother. You understand? But you can do it. You got to You can't do it by yourself. You got to do Go ahead. And constantly endure. And constantly endure, right? And make not haste and in make time not, of trouble. Try to hurry up and get out of the situation. Right. Find out. Try to see what God is trying to teach you. Read. Cleave unto him. Cleave unto him. Now is the time to cleave. You cleave unto God when in the midst of your struggle. You don't wait till you get out of it. You don't see all the dope to survive. And you still, brother, you're never going to, you know what I'm saying, if you do it like that. Well, you got to trust in the Lord. You understand? Go ahead. And depart not away. And do what? And, and depart, depart not away. Don't depart from God in that. Now you should be praying more to the most high. You understand? Read. That thou mayest be increased. That what? That thou mayest be increased. That what? At thy last end. That's what it's all about. Right. It's all about the last end. It's about endure. Christ said, they that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So either you want to make it in this world, or you want to make it in the world to come. It's right. salvation. All right. All right. Give me second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Because some people love this world. That's what I'm saying. The Lord said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man be a friend of the world, you become an enemy to God. So do you want to have success in this world? Got to give you over to that. All right? Or you want to have affliction and suffer and hate this world and desire the kingdom of heaven. I don't want to be successful. You got to make a choice. You got to make a choice. I don't know, but that'll make it sound so wrong to be successful. You got to make a choice. You got to make a choice. You got to make a choice. You can be successful, but I don't want to be successful in this world. You understand? Hey, I only want what's good. I only, I only, I just, I just want, look, hey, even King Solomon, hey, King Solomon told the Lord, he said, look, man, hey, give me what I need. Hey, the Lord would have gave him anything he wanted. He gave him all the knowledge, all the wisdom. Oh, that's uh, Psalm 73. Somebody get that. Psalm 73. Psalm chapter 73, verse 2. Nah. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish. Was what? I was envious at the foolish. He was envious at the foolish. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Because that's all it is. The only reason we have that coverage is only when we see the prosperity of the wicked. We see wicked people doing, committing sins and they successful in this world. Give me 2nd Corinthians 9 and 10. Give me um, Sirach 29. Give me Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. Look at 2nd Corinthians 9 and verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits. Have received benefits. Some people in their life, they live good in this world. Uh, Read. And have not known me. But they don't know God. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. And they 
like, and they that have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty, while they hated God's law. These niggas that's riding in gents, you know what I'm saying? And living in them six star hotels, and living in mansions, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, cashing out on a million dollar deals, man. They don't know the law, they hate God's law. Right, right. They hate, like, don't tell a rich nigga you can't eat pork no more. You know what I'm saying? Brother, you'll be eating filet mignon. You know what I'm saying? Big lobster. You know what I'm saying? That shrimp, jumbo shrimp, man. Hey, Boosie said that. Yeah, that's what Boosie said. Boosie said. Yeah, go ahead. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, uh -huh. understood it not. They what? Understood, understood it not. They don't understand. They blinded by that what? The rich. rich. We understand. We struggle. And we hear the word and we shed tears. Like, we, I need God. You understand? I wouldn't be like this, man, if I would have made it how I wanted to make it. You know what I'm saying? Bring this up. Book of Sirach, chapter 20, and verse 9. You know, there is a sinner that had good success in evil things. What's the Lord say? There is a sinner that had good success in evil things. There's a sinner that had good success in doing wickedness. You? This world pays you. It's beneficial to be evil and wicked. That's right. And to do sin and promote it. And to be for it. This white man will pay you. You will live good. Go ahead. And there is a gain that turneth to loss. And what? And there is a gain that turneth to loss. And the Lord said for a rich man to get the kingdom of heaven, it's like a camel trying to get through the eye of a needle. Can a camel fit through a needle? So what are the chances of rich people getting to the kingdom? This is their kingdom. You want to you want to be rich? Hey, you can share the white man's kingdom. You understand? Now, give me a Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. Because I want to balance it out. I don't want you to think I'm saying that you can't have no, don't make no money. Because you need you need money to survive in this place. The Lord, the Lord didn't say money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. Because when you have a love for it, you'll do anything to get it. You'll rob your brother. You'll sell drugs. You'll rap about killing your brother. You'll rap about whoring out your sister. You'll do anything to get a dollar because you love it and you want it so bad. It's your God now. You can't say I do it. I'm the only because You know I'm right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. For wisdom is a defense. Wisdom is a defense, Rick. And money is a defense. And what? And money is a defense. And money is a defense. I have to have a job and work. I need to make money because I got bills to pay. I got kids I got to take care of. You understand? So I need money. But I'm not in love with it. You understand? I want the king. Give me a job on 14 to 1. Precept. Proverbs 30 and 7. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, lest I be full, and deny thee, and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor, and steal, and take the name of, the, of my God in vain. You gotta read that again. I was gonna get that somebody preached Proverbs 30. Brother, listen! 30 and 7. Two things have I required of thee. What the Lord say? Two, Two things, things have I required of thee. thee. Read. Deny me them not before I die. Don't deny. Two things, Lord. Don't deny me this before I die. Read. Remove far from me vanity and lies. This is wisdom. This is Proverbs. This is Solomon. Remove from me vanities and lies. He didn't say, Lord, give me a mansion. I want to get a record deal. You understand? I want to be rich. I want to be successful. Read. Give me neither poverty nor riches. He say, look, man, I don't want to be poor, and I don't want to be rich either. Right? Read. Feed me with food convenient for me. Give me, give me enough. You understand? I'm good with just having enough that's convenient for me. Right. Least I be full and deny thee. Because if I'm full, I might deny the Lord. You understand? I might be so successful that I deny God. And that's the worst, that's the biggest thing. I read it. Go ahead. And say, who is the 
Lord. Or at least I be poor and steal and take the and take the name of my God in vain. At least I be poor and I say there's no God and curse God. You understand? Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just saying though. Yeah. All right, bring this up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52, and verse 3. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourself for not. What the Lord say? Ye have sold yourselves for not. Why do we go on this way? Do you remember? We read it earlier. We did what? We broke the commandment. We broke the covenant. We broke God's law. And we, by breaking the commandment, we fell under the curse. One of the curses. So when God said we have what? We have what? He has we sold yourselves for not. We sold ourselves for nothing. We went into slavery slaves for nothing. All we have to do is keep God's law. Did we get paid? No. Read. And ye shall be redeemed without money. We shall what? And ye shall be redeemed without money. We shall what? Hey man, get, get out of here. Go ahead. And what? And ye shall be redeemed without money. And you're going to be redeemed without money. You know what that means? LeBron James, when the Lord come back and deliver, LeBron James ain't taking his Bentley in his house and his, and his billions of dollars for it. Brother, this place is going up in smoke. You understand? You ain't gonna need, we leave it here with nothing, brother. You understand? God has something else for us. Let me tell you something. This kingdom that the Lord has given to the white man, the best things in this place, how do you think it compares to our God's kingdom and his children? That's the color. Read it. Book of John chapter 14 and verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. What the Lord say? Let not your heart be troubled. Read. Ye believe in God. Uh-huh. You believe in God? Don't let your heart be troubled then. Christ said you believe in God, don't let your heart be troubled. It may happen, but don't let it. You got to fight. You got to endure. It's a battle. It's hard. But you believe, right? Go ahead. Believe also in me. Believe also in his son. Right. Okay. Go ahead. In my father's house. In what? In my father's house. In the kingdom of heaven, brother. Read. Are many men. Or what? Are many men. Or who? Are many men. Or what? Are many men. Oh, it's ghetto and slow. Are many men. There's many mansions in the, in the Lord's house. You ain't got no mansion here. Get out. You ain't got nowhere to go. God said there's many mansions. You gotta have faith. You gotta believe that. Uh, it's hard to have faith and believe in something you can't see. Three. If it were not so, if it was not so, I would have told you. Lord said, I would have told you. Three. I go to prepare a place for you. What the Lord say? I go to prepare a place for you. And the Lord said He's prepared a place for you. Nobody prepared nothing for you here. Your parents ain't leave you no inheritance, man. You don't even know if you're gonna wake up tomorrow. You understand? Many people go to the doctor and they have no idea they're gonna find out they had cancer. People wake up and people don't wake up sometimes. You understand? But the Lord said He's prepared a place for you. You don't have nothing here. Give me Michael two and Go ahead. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. I will what? I will come again. I will what? I will come again. The Lord said, look, if my father's house will be the man, and if I'm going to prepare a place for you, and I got a mansion for you, I'm going to come back and get you and bring you to it. Come. You understand? The Lord is preparing that. And we got to do our part. He did his part. He was bruised and wounded for our transgressions. You understand? He went through it. He suffered. Hey, the scripture said the Lord had no place to lay his head. You understand? Hey, he was pierced, his hands and his feet, man. He was spit on, man. He was whipped. He was thrown in prison, man, for us. The Lord said, if the world hate me, if the world hates you, know that they hated me before you. You shall be persecuted under my name, say. Right. This affliction is good. Hey, the Lord got afflicted. You understand? You, you better than the Lord? You better than the Lord, man? You better than the Messiah? You can't go through nothing? Come on. And receive you unto myself. And what? And receive you unto myself. What the Lord say? And receive you unto myself. And where I am. That where I am. That what? That where I am. Read. There ye may also be. That what? There ye may be also. And read verse 4. And whether I go, ye know. And the way he know. And the what? And the way he know. He said, you know where I'm going. I'm at the right hand of the Father. 
And guess what? You know the way too. And what's the way? Huh? That's right. That's right. That's right. Give me Revelation 14 and 12. You know? Somebody give me Revelation 21. Book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. You know? Here is the patience of the saints. Uh -huh. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh. Here are what? Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh. Wait a minute, here are what? Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh. And the faith in Hamashiach. Here are they that keep the commandments and the faith of Hamashiach. Keep going. And I heard a voice from heaven say unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Uh -huh. Yea, say the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors. And they may what? That they may rest from their labors. And what? They may rest from their labors. And what? They may rest from their labors. And what? They may rest from their labors. Nah. We laboring right now. Right. We got jobs. We don't get paid to be like this. Not the Christian church. That's right. Travel, but we don't take. Brother, you not got to pay us tithes. You understand? The Lord said, "Freely we have received, freely we give." We laboring. Guess what? God gonna give us rest. Right. Hey, you labor, man. Hey, you out here. Hey, you don't give no rest out here. Right. God said, "Gonna give you rest." Real rest. We don't get no rest in this world. We always got something to worry about, man. You understand? We suffer from mental illness. We sick, man. We hurt, man. You understand? Go ahead. And, on that. and their works do follow them. And what? And their works do follow them. And their works, your works are gonna follow you. And the Lord shall bring Are you keeping the commandments? Right? Or are you having wicked works? You understand? Read that. Revelation chapter 2 from the top. Yeah. Book of Revelation chapter 2 from the top. Read out. And I saw a new heaven. And what? And I saw a new heaven. Read. And a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Now this heaven, heaven is not talking about in the sky flying around it. Right? Above the firmament where the Lord is, is called his one heaven. The skies is heaven. There's also heaven on earth. The so called white man is in his heaven. Hell is not somewhere where the Lord is boiling you for eternity and you just burning in the fire. That's a lie. Hell is a condition. We in hell now. Right. Hell is the grave. Right? Hell is being on the bottom. The white man is in heaven and we're in hell. Right. So this hell that's gonna pass, I mean this heaven that's gonna pass away is east of the so-called white man's kingdom that God is gonna destroy and bring down. Right? Read. For the first heaven passed away, and there was no more sea. Uh -huh. And I, John, saw the holy city, New saw Jerusalem. What? Saw what? Saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. The holy city, New Jerusalem. That's us, bro. Right. Go ahead. Coming down from the most high. Do what? Coming down from the most high. Coming down out of the chariots. Because America's going to be on fire. The nuclear missiles, okay, that all these nations got in World War III is going to melt America with that lake of fire that John the Revelator saw. And the elect are going to be saved via the chariots who the world calls UFOs. You'll get beamed up. Huh? You understand? And delivered out of here. And taken back to Jerusalem. So when John the Revelator see them coming down, he said this is New Jerusalem. This is that new king. Go ahead. Out of heaven. Give me heaven. Solomon 5 and 2. Prepare as a bride, a stone for her husband. Uh -huh. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God with men, and he with the well, and he dwell with them. And, and they had <laughs> <laughs> and they said, uh, they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Verse 4. Who are his people? That's right. Go ahead. And God shall wipe away all tears from their from their eyes. We read that earlier, right? Because who's the captain? So who are the captains? Whose tears are gonna is this talking about white people? Is this talking about them? I'm talking about our people that's in the ghettos and the swamp that need to be saved. Right. That police shooting them in the street. That came over here on the bottom of slave ships. That hung on trees. You understand? These are the people that it's talking. It's not talking about everybody. We're going to prove that it can't be talking about everybody. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. Go ahead. And there shall be no more death. And there shall be no more death. Read. Neither sorrow. Uh huh. Nor crying. Uh huh. We read that earlier. Jump up to. Uh, See, 
y'all up on this uh, chart over here? You on there? Verse 18, and the building of the wall, and the building of the wall is the kingdom of heaven. What verse is that? Book of Numbers 18. And the building of the wall of it was of Jasper. And the city, right now we have what they call projects. We've been to projects. We've been to the families. We don't live like that in Christ's kingdom. All right? Listen to the king of Greece. The city of the wall was of Jasper, and the city was pure gold. It was what? And the city was pure gold. No, it's concrete and asphalt everywhere. And the city was pure gold. And the some kind of white man built this like a damn, because they come from the caves. That's why you build these buildings up. He's like to be high up in the mountains, man. Yeah, straight concrete. He tear down all the damn woods, all the animals in damn zoos, man. He's damn cutting trees down, man. Just steady building, destroying the earth. That's why the Lord said, I'm going to destroy it. That destroyed all oh, down, that destroyed the earth. Oil and, and pollution in the air. The sea is polluted with oil, man. The birds can't even breathe, man. The water is polluted. GMOs in the food. This man is evil. You understand? Mass incarceration, man. Hispanics, Native Americans, and the so called. The city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. Like what? Like unto so clear glass. The said it's going to be like clear gas. Right on. And the foundation of the wall of the city was the burning of all manner of precious stones. Of what? Of all manners of precious stones. Go ahead. And the first foundation was Jasper, and the second is Sapphire, and the third um, Sidonian, and the fourth Emerald, and the fifth Zardex, and the sixth Sardis, and the seventh Crystallite, and the eighth Pearl, and the ninth Topaz, and the tenth Christopher. Listen to brother, you listen to all this? And the eleventh Janus, um, Janitus, and, and the twelfth Amethyst, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every, every several gate was of one pearl. And the streets of the city. And the what? And the streets of the city. Turn around, look at these streets. The city. Read. Was pure gold. Was what? Was pure gold. Was who? Was pure gold. What are the streets of our city going to be? Was pure gold. Take a minute, brother. Look around. Imagine pure gold streets. As if it was transparent glass. Brother, imagine this is our kingdom. This is how we live. You want this or you want that? Imagine it, bro. Think about it. You ain't know how to walk on that. Brother's gonna, brother's gonna be walk, brother don't know how to, I don't even know how to, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you might, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you might be the king of brother. You know what I'm saying? Coming to that bar. Here it goes, man. That's transparent glass, man. How you gonna walk, man? I don't know. You ain't up. You ain't even up, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm going to slide. Jump up to verse 12. Uh, verse 12. It said, it said it had a wall, great and high. It had 12 gates. Why do you think it got 12 gates? 12, 12 gates. Why do you think it got 12 gates? It do got 12 gates, though. My skin is white. How many tribes? My skin is white. Three. It say, and at the gates, 12 angels. See, that you was right. 12 gates, and there's 12 big angels at all the gates. You understand? Is this kingdom for everybody? You don't need no, you don't need damn bodyguards at the gate. You don't need bouncers at the gate. It's for everybody, right? Go ahead. And names written thereon. It's names on the gate. And names written thereon. Read. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Because in this white man's kingdom, we ain't got no gate. That's right. You understand? He don't share with us. We don't got nothing, right? They are black. We on the bottom, right? He destroyed our parents and our forefathers, man. He didn't teach us nothing. We don't have anything. You understand? We left in the streets of the wolves. We got to figure it out on our own. We got to get it out the mud. I got it out the mud. These white, you see these white people make it to the NBA. They got their mom and their sister. You know what I'm saying? And you see Jacob there by himself with his mom. He cried. He moved. You don't never see no Edomites crying when they make it. Jake had to work so hard and get it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? It's 
it's, it's different. Verse 14. You understand? Now, what was I at? Isaiah 14. Verse 13. Give me one of the times to follow. Seven candlesticks, one like the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. That is, that we, well, now we're reading, we read about what happened to our people and what happened to us. Now we're reading about for those that repent and endure, okay, until the end, what it's going to look like and what's going to happen. Go ahead. Then shall the righteous oh, man, the righteous bad, man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have so afflicted like him. Then shall the righteous man stand. Now the righteous man is talking about the other. He's gonna stand right now. Right? In great boldness. In what? In great boldness. In who? In great boldness. Listen around you, brother. The righteous man is gonna do what? Read again. Don't get then, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Then the righteous man is going to stand in great boldness. Read. Before the face of such as have afflicted him. Before the face. Who afflicted us? What people? God said in that face we're going to stand with boldness. Right now, take your hand down. Holy, holy, pull up and run. Bread. I know that they're red. They ain't going down like that. Go ahead. As if they burn. And made no account of his labor. And did what? And made no account of his labor. They didn't make no account of our labors, man. Right. They didn't make no account of the seven trillion dollars of cotton that we picked. You understand? They say, nigga, the hell with what you've been through. Right. Slavery was over with. Get over it, nigga. Over. But remember 9-11. But remember the Alamo, right? Remember the Holocaust. What two? The damn, what they keep changing? Two million people died? What about the hundreds of millions of Native Americans still here and Latino and African Americans who Google Jews and was licked? Forget about that. Go ahead. When they see it. When they what? When they see it. God won't allow them to see it. When they see it, read. They shall be troubled. They shall be what? They shall be troubled. With what? With fear. With what? With, with fear. terrible they, they, fear. They're going to be troubled with terrible fear. They're going to be shaking in their pants like something. You understand? Read. They shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. And shall what? Be, to be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Our salvation is going to be strange, brother. It's going to be like a movie. When we get delivered out of here, it's going to be real strange. And they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. We leave in this place of style. Right. You understand? We leave it as superheroes. Right. You understand? We're going to get a new body. You understand? Right. You ever seen, you ever watch uh, the Marvel movies? Superheroes? Go ahead. Because that's what you're going to be. So far beyond all that they look for. Uh -huh. And they repented and and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. This is what they gonna say to themselves. This was he, well, this was this was he whom we have sometimes in derision. derision. What's your name? Confused. James. James? Y'all say that's James. This nigga James? Oh, man. That's how they gonna look at me like this, 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 this guy. Go ahead. And a proverb of reproach. And a what? And a proverb of reproach. Read. We fools accounted his life madness. See, they gonna call they damn self fool. They gonna say, damn. We thought we counted James. We thought his life was nothing. We some fools. We thought we was gonna get away with doing this to God's people. We done stuck. You understand? Go ahead. And his end to be without honor. And his end to be without honor. We thought the niggas gonna die by the hands of the police, and that's it. Nah. We gonna keep killing them forever. They gonna be in the ghettos in the sun forever. Nah. See, the white man has got proud with his American flag and his Christopher Columbus Day. You know what I'm saying? He got proud, and he he thought he think God forgot about us, right? He thinks America's gonna last forever, right? Did the Greeks think them last forever? Did the Romans last fell? The Roman rulership? Did the Babylonians rule fell? Did the Persian and Medes rule fell? Did the Egyptians rule fell? Is America gonna rule fell? No, she's gonna fall. She's gonna fall worse than any. The Lord is gonna destroy her worse than any kingdom I've ever felt. Read. How is he numbered among the children of God? They gonna say, how is James numbered among the children of God? This nigga. Right? This nigga got a divorce with a crown on his head and 
some bums on his head in the hallway room? Get a golden girl? And keys to a chariot? Go ahead. And his lot is among the saints. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth. And the light of righteousness hath not shined upon us. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Give me Isaiah 14. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. Now, this is what salvation is, what it's going to look like. You understand? Now, what do you think should happen to the people that destroyed us or put us in this world? Should, the, should God forgive them? Where did he say he forgive everybody? He said he forgive everybody? He said, give me Acts 5 and 30. Let's see. What did he say? Forgive everybody in verse 30. It says, the God of our fathers, the of Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree, uh -huh. him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, right. for to give repentance to Israel. To do what? For to give repentance to Israel. To do what? For to give repentance to Israel. And forgiveness of sin. And what? And forgiveness of sin. Who broke the man? Who went under the curses? Who needs to be forgiven? It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. As who? As Esau. As Esau, the white man. God say he's a profane person. Read. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Uh huh. For ye know how that afterwards, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. He was what? He, he was, was rejected. No, he was accepted. He, he was, was rejected. rejected. I said he was rejected. Read. For he found no place of repentance. He found what? He found no place of repentance. He found no place of repentance. Repentance ain't for everybody. He can we forgive God gonna forgive him for this? Though he sought it carefully with tears. Though he what? Though he sought it carefully with tears. Even though he cried, right? The Lord don't give it to him. The Lord said he found no place of repentance, even though he cried with the one number of tears. Because he ain't really so up. Right? Right now, we under the hands of his damn children, right? The slave master's children are still ruling over us, right? Do they give a damn? No. Give me Isaiah 14 and 21. But read this verse. Isaiah 2 and verse 9. Because somebody told you that God forgive everybody. Well, we're showing you out the Bible. That's a lot. You understand? Read. The mean man bowed down. Who's the mean man? What that, what that other picture at? Who are the mean men? Oh, you can get that one too. No, not this one. That one. Right? These are the mean men. You think it's me burning a 13-year-old alive? Like a brisket? On the grill? And taking a picture? So the Lord said the mean man back because he showed our people no mercy. He fed our babies to alligators. That's right. You understand? Read. The mean man bowed down, and the great man humbled himself. Read. Therefore, forgive them not. What the Lord say? Therefore, forgive them not. I'll forgive you. Therefore, forgive them not. Now have mercy. Therefore, forgive them not. God forgive everybody. Therefore, forgive them not. Don't forgive them. We forgive them not. They must pay. You understand? Right. No, we don't got to forgive you. I pray that the Lord have mercy on you. You understand? And our people, okay, who are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they've been lied to and destroyed by him. Right. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Yeah. Prepare slaughter. What? Prepare slaughter. I said prepare slaughter. Read. For his children. For who? For his children. For who? For his children. The slave master's dead. They're not here no more. Who is, who is the accessories to the rape, robbery, and murder? Who's still waving the American flag and celebrating us their independence after they stole this land from the Hispanics and Native Americans and Right. Who has a Christopher killing Columbus? His children. They got blood on 
on their hands. So God said, prepare slaughter for his children, read. For the iniquities of their fathers. They gotta pay for the sins of their forefathers. Right. If us three go out to eat, right? Let's say we go out to eat. You understand? We got a thousand dollar tab, and both of y'all leave. And I'm sitting at the table. Who gotta pay the tab? You know, I have to. I play. gotta pay the tab. Yeah, yeah. If you go to jail, I'm gonna go to jail. Go to jail. <laughs> That's right. So who gotta pay for what happened to them? That's right, because they are their forefathers. Right. Just like we are our forefathers. Right. So we going through things today because, you know what I'm saying, what I'm saying, brother? Now, go to Isaiah 14 and 1. Book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Yeah. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord said he's going to, listen, brother. The Lord said he's going to have mercy on Jacob. He never said he's going to have mercy on everybody else. You're a Jacob. Read. And will yet choose Israel. And at the end of the day, he's going to choose Israel. Read. And set them in their own land. And do what? And set them in their own land. So when Christ come back, they're going to have to be set in there. I thought in 1948, the Jewish people was already in the land. So why is Isaiah prophesying that when, upon the return of Christ, they're going to be redeemed and put back in their own land? Because what? They're in the land that they were taking on ships and scattered by the people of the earth. Via the slave trade. Huh? Right? Beginning in 70 AD. Go ahead. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Wait a minute. The strangers are coming with us. Ain't we, ain't we, aren't we joined to the white man and his king? Right. Didn't he, didn't he go get us on slave ships and bring us over here and make us build this place up? So God say when we go back to our home, they coming too. Right. Right. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Read. And the people shall take them. We're going to ask them to come. And the people shall take them. We're going to let them give them a choice. And the people shall take them. Didn't they take us? This is called justice. God said we're going to take them by force. Read. And bring them to their place. Uh-huh. In the house of Israel. And who? In the house of Israel. That's how we know salvation can't be for everybody. Because in Christ's kingdom, he says the house of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and American similar in this read, shall possess. Them. Shall what? Shall, shall possess, possess them. them. Shall own them. Then they possess us. Right. Don't ain't your last name Campbell? Don't we got white slave master's name to this right. day? Right. God said we're going to possess them, read. In the land of the Lord. In the kingdom of heaven. There's going to be slaves. For what? For servants. Weren't we brought here for servants? Right. And what? And handmaids. Read. And they shall take them captive. They shall what? And they shall take them captive. God said we're gonna take him captive. Doesn't sound like justice. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Sound like we wrote yourself. Give me Galatians six and seven. Give me Galatians six and seven. Brothers in the spirit. Galatians six. Now the Lord said that children is going to be sold to Judah. You Judah, right? Yeah. 
the book of Psalm chapter 137 starting at 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Who is Edom? The Edomites. The white people. God right. said, remember the, the white people. Don't forget about them, Lord. Read. In the day of Jerusalem, uh -huh. who said, race, race, uh -huh. even to the foundation thereof. They celebrated our destruction. They burned down our temple. Right. Go ahead. O daughter of Babylon. Uh -huh. O daughter of Babylon. They said the white man is the daughter. That's how we know America is Babylon. It's not ancient Babylon. It's the daughter of Babylon. Mystery Babylon. You understand? In the blood of the wicked. Give me Ezekiel 36 and 
power. 35 to power. We don't wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. That's right. Because the so-called white man loves blood. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead.
Hey, we're gonna be out here. We're gonna be back tomorrow. We're gonna be by the lake. Thank you. Where I'm going? Thank you. You said, where you going? You asked me, am I gonna be here tomorrow? I said, where I'm going? I'm saying, though, brother, we out here. We you could be anywhere. Yeah, we're just blocked. All right, brother. We ain't know we out here every week. We never see you. So we never come. You seen us before? Yeah, I seen us before. Okay, okay. So tomorrow, about 5 p.m., we're going to be down by the lake across the public, by the water. Come on, let us know. All right. All right, brother. Love you, man. All right, what's the next number? That's right. Yeah. Death to all Edomites.